Twitch alerts can be awesome, but if you don't have some for your stream, you are simply missing out. Now, there are a couple of options for you to get Twitch alerts, including going over to Fiverr or going over to Etsy or simply going over to iLeveled and buying some Twitch alerts. Wink, wink. But in today's video, we're going to show you how to create and set up your very own Twitch alerts for absolutely free. This method is only going to take a couple of steps, but there's a little caveat. Will you get better quality if you use something like Adobe Premiere or Adobe Illustrator? Absolutely. But you're going to have to pay and you're going to have to learn. In this method, it's super simple and we're just going to be using canva if you're like me and you are a new twitch streamer and you want to make sure that you're saving up some money to buy that awesome new microphone that you definitely 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 have had your eye on for about a year now then you will 100 percent want to follow this method because this will make sure that you don't have to spend a dime we're just going to be using canva in order to create and animate your own alerts in your own way and later on in the video we're going to head over to stream elements and set up the alerts and bring them over into obs and it's only going to take a couple of steps. So what we're going to do is go up to here and go to create design. And we're going to go to custom size. It's going to be 1920 by, by 1080. This is very important. Go ahead and rename your project. Super awesome secret Twitch alerts extravaganza. That sounds about right. Um. Anyways, we are going to edit the timing. And what I'm going to recommend is that the timing is going to be 10 seconds. Second step we're going to do is we're going to click on the background here and we're going to change the background color and we're going to choose this nice grass green. Mm, it looks amazing. Fantastic. We're going to go right over to elements and then we're going to, just like our last video where we're going to look up some custom stickers, we're going to do the exact same thing here. The first thing I'm going to shoot for here is going to be webcam border. Okay, so we found this moving border. I think this thing is going to look sweet. So from here, I'm going to change some colors. Now, if you follow my other videos, we made some really cool panels here. And then I'm going to make sure I keep to this brand color. So for me, it's white, this kind of darker bluish gray, and then this purple. So I'm going to do the exact same colors here. In Canva, it's really easy. You can actually just grab something and put this on the screen for a second. When you head back over to the color section, it'll actually give you options based off the color. So I'm going to choose this one, maybe do like a little bit of darker purple. And then for this pink here, instead of this pink, Pink, we're going to do this purple so it matches the exact same look feel and color then once you're done with it you can go ahead and just delete and now it's in there so there we go now what i did is i found this really cool little extra piece here the good thing about this little piece is that some of these stickers you can actually change the color so if you change the color i change it to purple and then i added two sections so i added one and then i add the other and i just simply flipped it and then another thing in canva is you can layer options so if we just go here we right click go to layer we can actually just send this backwards and send it right Right behind there so the exact same thing here and bada bing bada boom to make sure that we really get this looking really clean is i'm going to add the text right in the middle here new follower and then i'm going to change this text to white and then to make it pop a little bit more you can click on this again go to effects and i'm going to add some drop shadow and i'm going to make this black so it really 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 pops out okay so that looks pretty good but we need to animate everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to animate and i'm going to have this border here i'm going to have this i'm going to have it do on enter and on exit the text i'm going to have a little bit different i'm going to have this one wipe in but i'm going to have it be much slower on both enter and exits okay so we have all kind of the pieces that we want we're working on the animations the only downside about canva is that these individual pieces here you have to animate individually it also gives you some cool stuff that you can do so for example i'm going to have this thing kind of baseline in and go and enter i'm going to have it be nice and slow so that way it doesn't move as much. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. I'm gonna have this baseline. I'm gonna have this one go down and then we're gonna have on both. And then we're gonna have this nice and slow as well. And then I'll take all of these and group them together. So that way I can move everything around right in the middle to make it nice and clean. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in new follower. Now here is how easy this is to complete. If you go to add page, you can simply just copy all of these sections, control C, and then go down here, click on this one and control V. And then all you have to do is just change the word. So instead of follower, you can do subscriber and maybe resize this a little bit. So make sure it fits in the same spot. Another one. And then control V new donation. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And now you have all three. I'm going to go ahead and click share. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to then download 
And then we're going to go for our MP4 video, which is exactly what we want. And then I'm just going to take the first page because I don't want to download them uh, as a single video. I want to go ahead and get them as one. So I'm going to go ahead and get one page at a time. So this is going to be the follower event. And then we'll just go ahead and click download. And then I will move over into stream elements and I'll show you how to get this new follower alert set up over there. I'll see you in a second. <laughs> oh, you thought we were going over to stream elements. Well, you're wrong. We actually are going to need a twitch alert sound so the best place i will tell you right now again 100 free for you to use anytime you want is called myinstance.com. it's fantastic it's 100 free and there's some wild ass ones on here so you've been warned if you've made it this far in the video i do want to tell you that you're amazing but mr e booty is literally a booty with a top hat and a mustache so we're gonna need this actually ooh. That just sounds like a follower alert. And you can just click on the name and then you can simply just download the MP3. It's that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and then go to dashboard. Now, when you get to dashboard, you wanna go under here to streaming tools and then go to overlays. So we go into overlays. I'm going to create new overlay. This will bring me to this team right here. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we get this set up. Uh, you can go ahead and skip this tour. If you're a first time user, I'd go ahead and recommend you go through this. For right now, I'm just gonna click out of this because we're freaking professionals here. We're just gonna rename this to Twitch Alerts. First thing we're gonna do is you're gonna add widgets and we're gonna add alerts and we're gonna add the alert box. Now the box is gonna come at this size. I'm going to actually position the box to be 1920 by 1080. So the box takes over the entire width of this. Go to layers. We'll click on alert box and go to settings. And then what we're going to do is have follower alert. Click this cog wheel, change the video. We're going to grab the new alert and our sounds, and we can just simply drag both of those in. So we now have the video and the sound together. I'm going to choose my video is going to be this one right here. So we'll go ahead and click submit, and you'll see that it pops up in this window. Now, the next thing is we don't have any sound for our video, so we don't have to touch this, but we do need to change the actual alert sound. So we'll go ahead, we'll upload sound. We have our fart with reverb. I'm gonna make this nice and loud. I'm gonna say around 70%. When we go ahead and we emulate a fun <laughs> alert, you're gonna notice it kind of looks a little funky. So what I'm gonna do is have to change a whole bunch of this stuff. We're gonna say that alert duration is 10 seconds and then this is very important the max length for username so that way it always fits inside the box i like to use is 10. we're going to go right over here to text settings click up and then we're going to enable a custom font we're just going to go ahead and use arial it makes it nice and easy and just that way it looks nice and clean and we don't have to worry about it too much uh the size of this i will make kind of big we'll start with 50 we may have to make the adjustments later another thing i will click is this little icon here it doesn't tell you what it is which kind of sucks but just make sure that everything is always uppercase the next thing to note is that the text is not where we want it to be so if we do emulate we do follow the text is at the bottom that's not gonna work for us. I don't wanna have this is now following. In this editor, you can go to follower event, click this again, and you can say right here is the alert message, name and then now following. I like to just go ahead and delete that section. Um, you can even just have it where you press enter and then is a new follower. This is what Stream Elements uses to input the name of the new follower. So do not delete this section. We'll go to our text. We'll go to advanced. Now, when we go to advanced on text, this is where we're going to move the this stuff here. So if I want to go here, go to follower, see how is the name here. We have to move it up. So what we'll do instead is we'll just start messing with the numbers here. Oops. So we're going to need negative. Let's try negative 250. No, nope, still not high enough. So let's try negative 350. And then we'll go ahead and emulate a follower and just see if that comes in. And it does. Okay, perfect. We do need to animate the text inside of here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to follower alert, go right back to here, and then go to animation setting. What I like to do just to make sure it is clean is I'm going to have you have an enter animation and an exit animation for the actual video. Then you have the text animation and then you have when the text shows up and disappears. I'm going to have the enter animation be alone, but I will have the exit animation just be a fade out. And I want to do it one second before the text animation. I will have this one. I'm going to see if we can find our our wipe here. So I'm going to have this. Let's find. Let's buy. Where is it? Where is it? Where is she? Where are they? 
Uh, I'll just do a fade in because it'll just make it easy. And we're also for this one going to do a fade out. I'm going to have this also be one second as well. Now we want the text to appear, but we're going to have it appear maybe about 1.5 seconds. And then we're going to have it disappear. This offsets it. It's a little bit different. This one means that the text will disappear 1.5 seconds before the animation ends. So now if we do follow, boom, 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 new follower shows the name. And then the name goes away and then the text goes away. So the follower, bada bing, and success. Now that this is done, um, you just, for every other alert that you create, you just wanna go through the exact same steps. If you're doing purchases through Stream Elements, you can do that, or Stream Labs. I'm gonna turn that off. And then charity campaign donation is also a separate one if you're using something like Tiltify. And you can actually go here, go to charity, go to charity, and you can actually add those in individually if you'd like. Or you can simply add in something separate here. Little cool extra tip there. And then at the very top here, we're going to copy the overlay URL. Okay, we're back over here into OBS. Instead of having the alert box all over the place, I like to create a new scene and set this up as alerts. Now, the reason I do this is sometimes I might multi-stream or sometimes I might want different alerts for different things. So by having its own scene and then adding the scene to all the various live scenes, it allows you to have multiple alerts without having to group them together and then resize them individually. What I mean by that is go to sources, we'll go to add, we'll go to browser. And this browser, of course, is going to be our Twitch alerts. And then I like to always name it by what it's from. So SE is stream elements. So we'll go ahead and go here. And then that link that we just copied just a second ago, we're going to paste that into here. And then we're going to set the width and the height to the correct section. So 1920 by 1080. This is a very important step. Make sure to control audio via OBS. So we wanna make sure that we can control that there and click OK. I do want you to go to twitchalerts.se, click the three dots, go to advanced audio properties, and then I want you to turn the monitor to monitor and output. This will allow your alert sounds to come through your headphones from OBS. So it's a very important step that you make sure you monitor it so you can actually hear it. Now to test this, all we have to do is we can go right back over to stream elements and then we're gonna emulate, we're gonna do follower and then bam, we have our alerts in OBS. Then what we'll do is we'll go to alerts. We're gonna right click on the alert that has the green screen, go to filters. We're gonna go ahead and do a chroma key, click okay and then it's going to be working right off the gate. So we'll go ahead and click close. We don't have to make any adjustments. We go to follower and bam, looking amazing. The last step is we're going to make this really, really fast. I'm going to add a scene here, go to alerts. And then now we can just add these alerts, go to follower, and then we can just move these to wherever looks good on our screen. And now you have your alerts. It is super simple, super easy to do. And with Canva, it makes it even easier. There are some paid things and some paid stickers, but there's literally millions of free stickers that you can use. If you're like me and you're lazy and you don't want to deal with it, you can also head over to ilevel.com. We are a really small website that helps creators, help streamers by either setting up their OBSs for them and giving you some consultations. Or on top of that, we also sell overlays. We've partnered with really, really cool creators across the internet. We've commissioned them to make us some really awesome stuff so that we can sell to you for really, really cheap. And the cool thing is, if you find something that you like, you can go to, for example, do your Twitch alerts. You can buy them. They're on sale. And all the money also helps to go back into the actual original creator's pocket. So it's a win-win for everybody. Thank you so much. And we are so close to doing our very first Twitch stream. So make sure that you head over to twitch.tv forward slash Mr. E booty here. Go ahead and shoot this person a follow, AKA me. And we're gonna have some fun. I will be announcing that we will be doing our first live stream in the next video. I'll give you a time and a date and we're gonna go rock out. So let's make this video blow up. Let's have some fun. Go out there, create some cool stuff. And then in the comments, leave me some links to some of your alerts. I wanna see them. Let me see your awesome creations. And I hope you guys have an excellent day. Lastly, if you had fun in this video, for the YouTube algorithm gods, please, please, please like, subscribe, and of course, comment below with the links to your alerts because I think they would look amazing. Ah, chef's kiss. I know you're doing great work out there. Again, Mr. E Booty signing out. I'll see you in the next video.